Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back. We're playing some epic summoners today guys and the best thing that I can tell you guys is Experience is the master of all knowledge guys The only way to learn anything is through experience and that's exactly what I'm gonna give you guys today All my years worth of experience because the game has been out for a year and I've literally started playing almost when it came out so It's been a good while since I've been playing. I've learned a lot a lot of regrets, let me tell you. I've worked on a lot of really, really top, top heroes and some heroes I wished I worked on. So this is why I'm making this video to help you guys out right now. I'm gonna give you guys my top tier heroes in the game right now. Uh, just keep in mind guys, these type of games, they change all the time, all right? So if you're watching this six months from now, keep an eye on the date because this this changes all the time. So you might want to refresh you know, the, the hero list every so often but as of right now these are heroes are probably the ones that you should be working on because they are op so let's get this list started uh and let's begin all right guys so this is in no particular order i'm just going to just give you guys my top tier heroes in the game right now so i'm going to begin with uh, the bow punisher this guy is amazing guys one of the best heroes in the games let me tell you right now his ultimate is legit uh, hits all your back rolls, 265% damage, and then reduces their attack by 40% for two rounds. Uh, that is really, really nice right there, because if he's still alive in the next two rounds, most likely he's going to get his ultimate back, so then he's reducing their attack uh, once again, which means the back row is going to have reduced health quite often, for one, and two... Um, Think about all the heroes that you would put in your back row. Most likely, it's going to be your high DPS heroes like Night Daughter and um, Nine-Headed Dragon. Whatever it is, uh, this guy is going to reduce their damage. If he's fast enough, so you definitely want your Bow Hunter, I mean your um, Bow Punisher to go first as much as possible. So you can reduce their damage, I mean reduce their attack and it'll help out a lot. Alright, so that's his main purpose right now killing your back rows uh that is really really powerful right there increases speed by 15 increases dodge that really helps out in your saints faction if you happen to get all saints heroes uh during ordinary attack enemy dodge will decrease by 15 percent and enemy armor will decrease by 35 percent for two rounds so that's also really really nice right there reducing armor ordinary attacks hit 60 percent potential to deal an additional must hit attack inflicting 100 percent damage another really good ability there so that's why bow punisher comes in as a top tier hero in the game right now guys you definitely if you could work on one of these guys you definitely want to work on them if it's possible um one pairing that i would suggest with him is the next hero that we're going to talk about right now they work really really great together so let's go all right and the pairing is firewing firewing an incredible hero guys i really slept on firewing uh from the beginning i wish i worked on this guy a little bit earlier because he's a beast guys crowd control to the max and it stacks with bow punishers uh you know debuffs which is really really nice here let's take a look at his ultimate now you want to try to have uh, anti-crit on this guy you don't want your opponents to crit him a lot but let's just go ahead his ultimate deals 430 damage to an enemy and has a 65 percent chance to stun for two rounds so uh stun crowd control 65 percent chance is pretty high so that is really really nice right there uh second ability each attack gains 50 percent attack hp and has a 25 percent chance to stun uh the enemy for one round so another 25 percent chance right there most likely when this guy is attacking he's stunning guys that's his main use right there uh, a warrior which means he's a good tank up in the first or second slot and uh can take a good you know a good punishment in the front there when damage reduce the enemy's uh, attack by 25 and crit by 10 for one round so this is what i was talking about before with bow punisher bow punisher is going to reduce your back rows attack and if they attack firewing their attack is going to be reduced again by 25 percent more and it stacks with bow punisher that is really nice right there so 25 percent plus another what was it 40 percent i think uh, that's a, about 65% reduced attack for both of them, so that's actually a really, really nice synergy right there. Uh, when HP is less than 30%, increase the hero's armor by 45% and attack by 45% as well for two rounds. So really, really dope increasing armor and attack right there. So that's why uh, I really love Firewing, guys. He's one of uh, my favorite heroes right now, but I really regret not working on this guy from the beginning because... Um, I don't know, I just went with somebody else, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye on firing right now and maybe start working on him for, for sure. 
All right, next up we have a uh, no-brainer, Captain Hook. This dude is amazing, guys. Probably uh, the best hero in the human faction and uh, arguably one of the best heroes in the entire game completely. I mean, this guy's um, crowd control is insane. The damage, though, the damage is ridiculous. You got to see some damage that this guy does. AoE damage, insane. Let's take a look at his ultimate here. Deals 135% uh, percent damage to all enemies and has a 30% chance to petrify them for one round. So, hits all enemies and 30% chance for each one to petrify. Sometimes he can petrify three, sometimes he can petrify four or five. You never know, but that really comes in handy. Uh, this guy is amazing. Captain Hook, we love you. So, increase crit by 30, crit damage by 35%. So you definitely want your uh, Captain Hook to have as much crit as possible, guys. This is going to help him out a lot. Maybe put some crit uh, attack on him as well. Some crit statue. Whatever you can put on him with crit, definitely do it. It'll really go a long way into dealing a lot more damage here. Ordinary, uh, ordinary attacks. Hit heroes. Crit damage will increase by 65%. Wow. So this is another one that really... And this one stacks up, guys. So heroes crit damage will increase by 65%. And then it's going to increase here as well by 35%. So whenever he can crit, this, di this guy just does insane damage, guys. That's why I, I keep uh, encouraging. Keep on working on all as much crit for him as possible. Additional 180% damage to the petrified enemy. So um, some good synergy here with other heroes that will petrify. Right now, you only have a couple of heroes that petrify. Cleopatra and uh, him and maybe I'll probably forget a few others but with more heroes that are going to be released in the future there's definitely going to be a lot better synergy with him right there because if he can petrify uh, that's a lot of damage right there so if theoretically uh, if he attacks a petrified hero that and he crits on them it's almost game over they're dead it's going to be an insane amount of damage guys so that's why Captain Hook is one of the top tier heroes in the game right now all right, so the next hero that we're going to talk about is Monkey King. The Monkey King, uh, this guy is insane. One Monkey King is good. Six Monkey Kings is retarded. Uh, I'm not even going to lie, guys. Not six. That doesn't make any sense. But I had, most teams are using four to five Monkey Kings, which is crazy to me. I mean, they just gang up on one hero and they just destroy you literally like one by one. It's insane. The more Monkey Kings, the better. Uh, that's one of the best teams out there right now. I mean, I'm... They've got to really got they gotta really get a solution for this guy. It's insane how many how much damage they do all together. But even by himself, he's pretty good. Deals 365% damage um, to the enemy with the lowest HP, and then steals its attack by 60%, and then and crit by 25% for two rounds. But uh, it's ridiculous, guys. You get two of these guys on a team or three on a Saints team, and you're just killing everybody. It just does a lot of damage. So uh, this is why Monkey King is in the top tier. If you, it's possible to work on a few of them, definitely do it, guys, for sure. Uh, second ability here, increase attack by 30 and crit by 20. Ordinary attacks hit steal 25% of your of your opponent's fury, which is uh, pretty dope right there. And then uh, change normal attacks to deal 160% damage to enemy with the lowest HP. So he's always attacking your enemy with the lowest HP. So the way that it works is your first Monkey King is going to attack uh, whoever has the lowest HP right away. And then the other ones will just gang up on him and kill him right away, which is pretty sad. But what can you do? That's the game. So yeah, guys. So Monkey King is definitely a top tier hero. Uh, if you're gonna go with a Monkey King, I would suggest you work on a few of these guys for sure and go with Saints Faction. Uh, but even one of them will definitely help you out on your team, alright? Alright, next up, we have the Night Daughter. She, if you really watched my video back in the day when I did, you know, top heroes in the game, <laughs> she was the best hero back then, guys. And she's still one of the best heroes in the game. She was nerfed not that long ago, I think, but um, she's still one of the best DPS heroes in the entire game. Deals 280% damage to an enemy and the two enemies to its rear. And this is a must hit. It'll never miss, which is pretty dope. Three enemies right there. Increase attack by 25%, crit by 15. Uh, when the attack is critical, there is a 75% chance to ignore the enemy's armor. So armor penetration, ridiculous right here. So 75% uh, chance is really high. Try to get her crit high as well. Uh, fourth ability, if the enemy is a warrior, deals an additional 140% damage. So, this is why Night Daughter really comes in handy. Because she, a lot of the times, taking out the front tank is a pain in the anus. Uh, no doubt, unless you're going to go for somebody like um, 
bow punisher to just melt them from the back to the front there's a bunch of ways you can go with this but night daughter really really helps out with the warriors in the front so she's definitely a top tier hero guys to have uh if you're gonna go with a rainbow aura i would suggest that night daughter be uh, the one that you choose from this faction right here, the dark faction, because uh, she's a beast, guys. She'll definitely help you out. The next top tier hero on the list, guys, is Cerberus. Uh, Cerberus, the three-headed Cerberus, is a beast. Uh, yeah, this guy's crowd control. Another one of these heroes that's just insane with the crowd control. Uh, I would love to use him on a rainbow team, but on an elemental team, he definitely can help out a lot. So deals 210% damage to four random enemies and has a 25% chance to silence them for two rounds. So a lot like Firewing, except he silences instead of stuns, which is a really, really nice. 25% chance is not that high, but when it's across four different heroes, one or two of them are definitely going to get it for sure. Uh, second ability increases uh, attack by 25 and hit rate by 20%. And then third ability, ordinary attacks uh, hit have a 25% chance potential to silence the bleeding enemy for one round so if you pair him up with uh, a bleeding enemy uh let's say the new hero that just came out bloodseeker who's going to permanently you know bleed the uh, enemies that he attacks and you pair him up with cerberus and cerberus uh, the, all of his ordinary attacks are gonna have a high chance to silence that bleeding enemy which is pretty good there's a lot of different heroes you know that apply bleed so it could work out really good there's a lot of synergy with that and then this ability here will change normal attack to deal 60% uh, damage to four random enemies. So when you combine that with this, that means there's, there's, uh, hold on, there's a 60% chance that he, he hits four different enemies. And then there's a 65% chance that if they're bleeding, there will be uh, silence. So there's a lot of potential going on here. He just does a lot of crowd control silence. Probably one of the best silencers in the game because he does multiple rounds. So that's why I love Cerberus. Uh, it's one of the top element heroes in the game right now. All right, guys. So those were my top heroes on all the different factions here. So I'm going to give you one choice in the Barbarian faction and one choice in the Dungeon faction as well. All right, my top choices for these factions. So for the Barbarian faction here, we got the Barbarian King, who's the king of them all. This guy is amazing, guys. I have him 10 star on my team. I love him. Uh, he's definitely uh, one of the counters. They, they, they came out for the Monkey King teams. This guy is just insane. Uh, let's take a look at his ultimate here. Inflicts 490 damage to one enemy. If the enemy is in the back line, has a 90% chance to stun them. So if they're in the back, automatically getting stunned. What sucks is uh, it can hit anybody all over the field. So you have a pretty much a 50% chance. You know what I mean? When he gets his ultimate, if everybody's alive on your enemy, there's a 50% chance he hits somebody in the back. So that's pretty decent, but a lot of the times this ultimate is killing somebody for sure. So I really love his ultimate there. Second ability here, each uh, each 25% reduction of HP will increase 18% crit rate and 48% attack. The good thing about him, guys, is that even when he gets down to 1 HP, uh, this guy still does not die. He's got a lot of life. To, you know, he keeps fighting on. You'll see what I mean by that. And with this ability here, it's going to increase his crit and his uh, attack by a lot if he gets down to that 1 HP. So that's really, really good. Uh, another ability, when the attack is critical, gain 100% attack HP. So whenever he crits, he, this guy is going to get 100% of his HP back. If that comes in, you know, that really, really comes in handy a lot in a lot of different battles, especially boss battles. Uh, this guy can survive all the way to the end in a lot of the boss battles just because... Uh, what happens is he gets down to his HP. Uh, let's take a look at his fourth ability and we can explain it any further. Uh, when about to be killed, keep 1% HP and gain 99% additional reduced hurt for one round. Each battle takes a f uh, effect once. So that's the great thing about him is yeah, whenever he gets down to 1 HP for that round, this guy just seriously does not die. It's cr pretty crazy, but he can survive like two or three hits after that. It's kind of amazing i really love that about him so then what happens is his second ability kicks in which is every 25 for every 24 percent reduced of hp it increases his crit rate by 18 and 48 percent attack and then when his crit rate increases this kicks in because if his attack is a critical he gains 100 percent attack back so what happens is he usually gets down to one hp right and then he attacks gets a crit and then all of a sudden he's back to full health and it's amazing i really love that about him so that's why if uh for the 
you know, Barbarian faction right now. Uh, Barbarian King, that's my man. All right, guys, for the last hero here, we're going to talk about Punk Fist. I mean, I kind of like all the heroes uh, in this uh, faction here, the dungeon faction. But I think there's a lot of potential with Punk Fist. That's why I'm going to go with him. Um... The Guardian F2, I also like him as well. I think that he makes the most sense because of his crowd control. So you can go with the Guardian as a tank. Uh, but I want to talk about Punk Fist right now because his attack is insane. So it inflicts 450% damage to the enemy unit with the least HP, a lot like the Monkey King here. Decreases its hit rate by 30%. Also has a 50% chance to stun the enemy for one round. And that's stackable, which is pretty dope right there. This is a really, really nice ultimate there. Um, I honestly have not use them so i don't really know for sure and i haven't really faced too many punk fists you know 10 star ones that that often so still still a lot of testing to be done but i do love his abilities here that's why we're talking about him but increase anti-crit by 40 percent increase dodge by 20 there uh, ordinary attacks uh attack hits gain additional 50 percent fury so this is good to get his ultimate off and then last ability here when your attack hits a stunned enemy you will chase an active skill uh, with its effect of 100% with no fury points consumed. So this one is very, very good because uh, there's a lot of synergy here with other heroes that stun, especially Firewing like I was talking about before. So if he attacks a stunned hero, is going to attack again with his active and... Uh, with, with the active with 100% effect of its active which means it's full power without using his ultimate without using any of the fury points if you get my drift so that's kind of why I love him a lot I really want to try this guy out with you know with a lot of stun around him there's a lot of different things I want to try out but I think Punk Fist is going to be a good hero here assassin as well there's been a lot of assassins on this list guys no joke but I think that um you know, all these heroes are going to help you guys out in one way or another. Uh, if you are debating on which hero to you to, to really work on, uh, do some research, guys. Take a look at these heroes that I just gave you. A lot of them are really, really nice. You really can do a lot of good things with them. This could save you a lot of resources at the end, too. You never know, all right? So I'm going to end it up here, guys. Hope you enjoy that. I will catch you guys out in the next Epic Summoners video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.